those rumens, they're big fermentation tanks, right? You've got this whole big diverse biology inside of there and it eats whatever the cow eats. This is as fast as I can possibly summarize how plants and animals work together in a grazing system. You start with the plant, grass plant, most of the time. The plant is photosynthesizing, right? It's creating sugars to sustain its own life and it generates some extra sugars in that process that gets sent below the soil that are stored around the roots. That feeds a group of microbiological organisms that live around those roots. Then the animal comes in, the plant is grazed, and that plant begins to lose its ability to photosynthesize. And so in order to recover and rebuild its solar panel, it draws on energy reserves out of its roots and in the soil. When those animals graze those plants, this is the key part, there's something about animals on ground that causes that grass to be stimulated to regrow faster. Anybody that's ever mowed pasture versus grazed it in this way will tell you it recovers much faster with animals on it than it does if you mow it mechanically. So not only do, are they pulling on this grass and stimulating it that way, they also trample all of the brown and green matter that's grown up above the soil into contact with the soil, which then feeds that soil microbial life. And they also add on top of that manure and urine, and then the animals are removed and the plants begin to regrow. And then you just do it all over again.